Hi family, welcome back into the channel. This is Nikki. Make people own how they've mishandled you. Make people own how they have mishandled you, family. You have to make people own what they've done to you. You have to make people own this. Whatever somebody has done to you, you got to stand up. And you got to stand your ground. And you got to make people own what they've done to you. You can't let people mishandle you in your life and then come back into your life like nothing ever happened. Hold people accountable for what they've done to you. Hold people accountable and don't be afraid to hold people accountable for how they've mistreated you, how they've mishandled you. If you are being afraid, why are you being afraid to make people respect that you are an individual, that you are a person, you have feelings. People don't want to deal with you, so what? Whenever they feel like dealing with you, don't deal with people. You're still saved. You still have faith. You still love God, but you are a wise person. And this is you teaching people that you have boundaries. And I dare you to cross my boundaries. And if you think that I'm weak enough and that I'm vulnerable enough to you, you try and you cross my boundaries. We have to grow up and we have to stand up. And God never called his children to be doormats. Doesn't matter how nice you are. Doesn't matter how kind you are. It doesn't matter how nurturing that you are. You are nobody's doormat. And I am here to let you know to hold people accountable. Who is it in your life? Who was it that was in your life, family? That leave when they want. Come in when they want. That is your family fault it is my fault if we allow people to mishandle us and mistreat us and toss us to and fro and disappear and come back whenever they want no family of God no 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 stop letting people mishandle you you stop letting people ignore you and talk to you when they get ready the devil is a liar you stop allowing people to have so much nerve where it comes to you. You stop allowing people to have that much courage in dealing with you. Cutting you off without a cause. Not speaking to you without a cause. And, then, and whenever they get ready, they pick up the phone and call you. And here you are picking up the phone, dealing with these people for what? No. You stand on your own boundary. Now, when you set a boundary in life, don't, do not, do not remove your own boundary. When it comes to people mistreating you, when it comes to people mishandling you, family, because when people mistreat you and when people mishandle you and they see you put a boundary in place, but when they see your willingness, when they see my willingness to remove that boundary, they know I got her. I got him. They know it, family. Stand. Stand up. And stop allowing people to mishandle you. Stop allowing these people to play around with you. Stop allowing people to mistreat you. And then treat you well when they get ready. Don't allow anybody to treat you good today and hate you tomorrow and call you the next day like they never did anything to you in a, in, in a day in their life. No, family. No. Stop it. You can put a stop to it. So do it. Put a stop to people mistreating you and mishandling them, mishandling you. People choose the kind of relationship they want to have with you. So many people have chosen the kind of relationships that they want to have with you. And these toxic relationships, these toxic cycles, these toxic friendships that you may be in, get out of this stuff. See, whenever you know people are mistreating you, whenever, you, whenever you're in a toxic relationship, a toxic environment, and you don't know healthiness, you'll stay in toxicity. Because for one, you think you deserve it. And number two, you think you're not going to get anything better. You have the worst of the worst. Stand on your boundaries that you set. And you make people stand on your boundaries that you put in place. You remember how we were children when we would draw a line in the sand and we would dare you to cross that line? You create a boundary. You set your boundary in place and you stand on your own boundary. And you make people stand on your own boundary. You hold people accountable for what they do to you. 
You make people own how they mishandle you. You have to, family. You can't let people mistreat you. Doesn't mean you're holding it all in your heart. No, no, no. That mean that. That mean you're a wise person. That mean you love yourself enough not to allow these people to mistreat you and to mishandle you. No. You hold people accountable. And you make people own what they've done to you. Make them own it. How do you make a person own how they mishandled you and how they mistreated your family? Because you're going to draw a line in the sand. And you're not going to be open. You're not going to be so available to people who were never available for you. Stop being available for people who are not available for you. Stop always being the first person to reach out to everybody. Why do you keep doing that? And you're wondering, why don't people call you? Why don't people treat you any better? Because you don't require it. And they know you don't require it. When people feel your desperation, when they can sense your desperation, when they can see your desperation, family, they're going to drag you down to the ground. They're going to beat you down to the ground. They're going to make you feel bad about yourself. You're not going to feel good about you, family. Don't help a person make you feel worse. Don't help these people make you feel bad. We have a decision to make. And I want to let you know, you make people own what they've done to you. You make people own how they've mishandled you. Yes, you do too. You make people own all those things that they've done to you. If they never talk to you again, so what? You're not going to lay down and give up the ghost. Your life is not over. Your life is never predicated on anybody's treatment or mistreatment, mishandling against you. Did you know that? Your life is not predicated on one person who left your life. Your life is never predicated on one person who mishandled you, who dropped you. No, it is not. But I want you to make people own it. You make people own for all the things that they've done to you by letting them know, letting them know you have standards in place, you have boundaries set in place, and you're not going to live off that boundary just to have a friendship, just so you can call me. No, family. People have left your life for so long, and they have the nerve to pick up the phone and call you. And you know what the worst part of it is? They themselves believe. People left your life for years, and they believe. They can leave your life for years and pick up the phone and call you and ask you for a favor. And you'll pick up the phone, you'll talk to them, and you'll give them a favor that they ask you for. No, family. That shows you the lack of respect that people have for you and I. When people can not mistreat us. When people can mishandle us and ask you for a favor. That shows how much people loathe you and I. That shows you, family, how much respect that people don't have for you and I. Make people own what they've done to you. Make them own it. If that's the kind of relationship that they want with you, you let them have it. And whenever they fall and bump their head and a light bulb moment come on, when they get an aha moment, you keep going forward. And you let people know, no, that's the relationship that you wanted with me, and this is the kind we're going to have until Jesus come back. Love you, but I love you from a distance. They don't know what healthiness is. So you're going to teach people how to treat you from a distance. You can love people from a distance. And reconciliation, family, does not have to be. Do you know you can forgive people and don't reconcile with them? And that doesn't mean you have an alt. But the person who knows that they can't cross your boundary anymore, they are going to try to make you feel like you have an alt against them. If you listen, see, this is why you can't listen. See, this is why you can't give the devil place to your ear. Do not, family. Don't allow the devil to get in your ear. Don't put yourself in a position where the enemy is going to talk to you. Don't you do that. You make people own all the junk they put you through. You make people own how they left your life for years and have the audacity to pick up the phone and call you like they've never done anything to you, like they never lied on you. Like they've never betrayed you. 
Like they never mock you. The devil is a liar. You make them own it by giving them exactly what they thought they wanted. But today they don't want it. And you don't want what they have to offer either. You let people know that. I don't want what you're selling. I don't want what you're offering. Give it to somebody else that's not healed. You're healed. Make people own how they've mishandled you. People mishandled you, family, at, because they wanted to control you. They, they mishandled you and they mistreated you because they wanted to put you in a position in your mind mentally to bog you down emotionally, psychologically, spiritually, so they can control your life. These narcissistic people want to control every aspect of your life, family, because their life is out of control. They don't know how to bring that peace in their own life. They don't know how to structure their life. This is why a narcissistic person would target people like you who pretty much have their life all together. Not perfect, but you have it together, so to speak. But when you get mishandled by these people, when you get mistreated by these people, you make people stand on your boundaries. When you love yourself, you create boundaries. You love yourself. You create a healthy standard. And you dare the devil to cross that line. That the boundary and the standard that you put in place. People are going to treat you like you allow them to treat you. People are going to treat you exactly like they feel about you. Don't you ask yourself why people treat you that way? They treat you that way if it's bad because they don't like you. They don't respect you. Don't desire and be so vulnerable for people. Don't be so desperate for attention. Don't be so desperate for love for in the wrong places because you're going to find it. Don't look for love in the wrong places. Don't look for friendships in the wrong places. You don't have to overcompensate to have anybody that loves you. You don't have to be so dutiful that people who are not investing into you, they're going to use you. They don't care anything about what you're doing in the, in the aspect that you care. What you're doing it for is not why they're there. You're doing it to build futuristically with people, but they're not. They're there to receive from you until they get in a better place. So I want you to know, family of God, I want you to hold people accountable for everything they did to you. I want you to hold people accountable for the mistreatment. I want you to hold people accountable for all of the mishandling that they've done to you. Make people own that. How do you do it? You're going to do it by loving yourself. You're going to do it by setting healthy boundaries. You are going to do it by setting a healthy standard. You do this for you. That standard that you put in place for your life, you did that for you. That healthy boundary you put in place, you did that for you. Who cares if they don't like it? Stop caring if you're caring. They didn't care what they did to you, family. Don't be available to people who was not available to you. Stop being available to people who walk out of your life and then when their life goes wrong, here they come calling you. No, family. They wanted that kind of relationship with it. You let them go to the grave with it. You let them own it just like that. It sounds harsh, doesn't it? Was it harsh when they mistreated you? Don't hold an alt. Don't hold an alt. But people teach you every day what kind of relationship they want with you. No matter what kind you want with them. What kind of relationship are they having with you? I got to go, family. We'll talk later. This is Prophetess Nikki. Don't forget to like the videos, share, and subscribe. Love all of you so much. Don't get scammed here. Y'all see the scammers? Just keep deleting up those replies. And please keep reporting these people. Keep subscribing. We want to reach so many more people for God's glory. So many people are hurting. So many people are broken. But we are helpers one to another. Make people own how they mishandle you. Make them own it. They showed you the kind of relationship they wanted to have with you. They showed you the kind of relationship that they didn't want to have with you. So make them own it. Stop being available for people who don't want the same thing as you. You stop investing in a thing, a person, a place who is not giving you the same. Stop doing that because you're not going to get what you think you're going to get out of it. And you're going to waste your time. When you could be putting all that energy, all that time, and all that effort into something that's going to help you build.
They didn't come to help you build. They came to help you learn. Gotta go. Bye-bye.